Okay, today's the day. We're leaving our hotel. We're going to Disneyland. We're trying to get the boarding passes to get on Rise of the Resistance. Man, nothing says more Rise of the Resistance than a minivan. All right, these are the lines we're dealing with. Not that bad compared to what we had at Studios. Uh, we have one minute. We're almost there. That's all. What do we get? Group 100. Is that good? Group 100. Backup group? Yeah, we'll take it. Okay, we'll take so it. Done? Now, this kind of looks like a Magic Kingdom crowd. All right, for breakfast, we're going to the Jolly Holiday Bakery Cafe. All right, so many options. I think I'm going to get a breakfast sandwich with bacon, cheese, and egg, and fruit. What is this all? The Daily Universal Registration. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. That's really good. Now, the croissant is where it makes it. It's so buttery and flaky, a little bit of cheese and bacon. I think it's like the Disney Insta egg, but it just works. This is a good Disney breakfast. Now, the fruit, when it comes to like a fruit cup, it's melon. I'm not a fan of melon. Give me some strawberries in there, some blueberries. Those are great. That's nice. Mm. All right, that breakfast sandwich. Wow, I could have eaten like three of them. I would suggest going there for breakfast if you're coming early for Disney. They have a security escort today. Oh, that is so cute. Oh my gosh. It's, uh, your boy. My main man. All right, I picked up the presidential gonzo. Disneyland band was lit. They're all young, so they could like move around. Our Disney World band, need some WD-40 to kind of move around Main Street. So we're going to Galaxy's Edge right now. I gotta get my purple hot chocolate. It's just whipped cream dyed purple. Judge me, yes, I'm paying extra for that. Ah, uh, here we are, Docking Bay 7. Okay, now this is the breakfast that I'm talking about. This is what I've been waiting for. Okay, we got the Black Spire hot chocolate. <laughs> I thought it would be a little more purple. All right, so it's gonna be brown sugar with cream on top of there. This is the most excited I've ever been about hot chocolate. Definitely your standard Disney hot chocolate. I made a lot of it in my time in ODV. The whipped cream doesn't have that much taste, but I don't care because I'm drinking it in Galaxy's Edge. All right, so then we got the Mustafarian cinnamon roll. It looks like what, just Oreo crumbles? like a raspberry sauce. I don't know what the white stuff is. I was thinking maybe some like wampa dandruff or something like that. Uh, I'm not gonna use what these peasants use. Uh. <laughs> I bought the spork, yes. I spent $11 on a spork. Mom, I know you're gonna call me and say, why'd you do that, Kevin? All right, so it says spork right there in the property of Docky Bay 7. You know why? Because when this place first opened, all the smugglers came in and stole them and resold them on the black market for $150. So then they took them away. Oh, this is why we can't have nice things, people. But I'm happy I have it. Property of Docking Bay 7. This is like one of those sexy unboxings. It says wash before use. You know what? I'm, I'm just gonna commit. I'm gonna do it. I'm living on the edge. Oh, this sucker's a little tough. Oh, it just looks like cinnamon on the inside. It's fruity and cinnamon. It's interesting. I wish it was warm. It's like a good cold cinnamon roll. I had mousse farine wrap. Again, would have been delicious if it was warm. When the whipped cream mixes in the hot chocolate, it changes it up. I enjoy it. You know what Keith is doing right now? He's ordering a flight home. How did you not book a flight home, Keith? 
Because I was waiting for the price to go down. I told you when to buy when we I know. Them. That day after work, the price went up. You're going to be hitchhiking home. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the details in this restaurant so much. Boarding status will begin shortly. Well, we're boarding group 100. It's not looking too good on the board right now. They, what time is it? It's like 10 o'clock and they still haven't started. Now, I enjoy Autotopia so much more than Tomorrowland Speedway. Tomorrow, look, look, look at that. Because Autotopia, there's things to look at. It doesn't smell like straight up gasoline the entire time. It's like a beautiful scenic route. up to Austin right now. I'm coming for you. I got kids following me back there. <laughs> okay, look, look. You get the view of the freaking Matterhorn. You can't beat this. Love all the but I would love, oh my God, I would love to ride the car like this. Time for the far superior small world. Disneyland, because they have like different Disney characters. Dr. Facilier, I have a question. All right, is there any way you can make a deal to make less people in the park right now? It's a little crowded. Sure, but I'm not doing it for free. Hey, what do you want from me? Cash. Cash? How much? Let's just say I'm a five-figure kind of person. Oh, Disney dollars or real dollars? Real dollars. I'm for the Matterhorn. This is the cutest Fast Pass return sign I've ever seen. Side is the best side. Well, that was a ride. So we had the great parfait incident of 2017. I've not had a parfait since, but you guys wanted me to try this one, the Galactic Parfait. This is one of the most unique. What the heck? All right, so the Galactic Parfait has chocolate cake, blue cheesecake, and purple mousse filled with a raspberry marmalade and finished with glitter glaze, edible silver stars, and a chocolate truffle shell. Ooh. It's like a galactic bath bomb. Ooh. What the heck is this monstrosity? Oh. <laughs> oh. You know what this looks like? When I was a kid, my mom got me from KB Toys. You'd like build, build your own alien, then you'd like dissect it. That is what <laughs> the dissection looked like. <laughs> Look at that! What the f oh Please no 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 That first bite was just not good. It's just pure glitter glaze. Let's try the little the little ball. The ball's alright. Alright, let's get down to the innards. I have so many questions how they came up with this. Oh there's yo yeah the yogurt. <laughs> yeah. That's so bad. One. <laughs> I'm done for the One day. One little bite. Now, 
I don't think I've ever said this. I didn't enjoy one part of that at all. I, I'm gonna give that a zero out of 10. Yeah, it was beautiful, it looked cute, but man, you dug into there. On this day, we'll forever call this the parfait incident of 2020. RIP, whatever that is. To the submarine we go. Now, the first time I ever rode this ride, my mind was blown. <laughs> you get your fancy little, little seat? Oh, oh, that is really warm. Oh, it's almost like a heated seat. Whoa. All right, Keith, what do you, what do you think? I don't know. This is, this is what Allison sees in her cruise ship every day. Kids ride, man. It's better than our Nemo. Yes. <laughs> it's time for us to have dinner at one of our favorite restaurants at Disneyland. The Blue Bayou. Uh, welcome back to the Bayou. Oh, the yes. There's my favorite thing in any restaurant, the bread. And the bread here is, oh, oh, oh. So it's gonna be a rosemary brioche bun. Mmm. Warm and fluffy. I'm so glad when they redid these menus. Bam, they added in the light. I have a dog right next to me. I don't know if I can focus on the meal. I know. <laughs> the dog for the appetizer. And we got a fried calamari. We got the calamari. There's sausage on it. There's peppers. I don't know what that sauce is, but I'm sure it's spicy. All right, calamari. The sausage was a 10 out of 10. The calamari itself. Um, I didn't like the breading. I need something a little more crispy. It was like flaky, but it's, it was all right. But the sausage is delicious. We're gonna do the herb crusted rack of lamb. And then we got the herb crusted okay, lamb. Feta, mashed potatoes, carrots. All right, I convinced Keith to get the surf and turf. He's never had lobster. You were gonna order a well done filet. Yes, I was. Oh God. I convinced him to a medium. You're gonna enjoy how to eat a proper steak now. Keith is complaining it's too small. It was delicious. Another amazing dinner. The lamb was great, the calamari was all right, but God, I love Blue Bayou. So I feel like I don't feel good for some reason. That's that's a Disneyland food baby kicking it. So we are back, Keith is having his first Pepno-Bismol. The thing with going on vacation is you eat all this delicious food and you're just not, your stomach isn't used to it. So I always suggest bring some Pepno-Bismol with you. Now Keith, Jessica got you something. Here you go. Since we're gonna be going to the Valentine's Day party, Allison and I, and we don't want you to be a third wheel. Mm -hmm. She got you something. Uh, <laughs> I would just. Okay, so this is why Disney could never replace PhotoPass with machines, because they would never get wonderful shots of coconuts <laughs> and biceps. 